Let's try this problem. So in a right triangle, one angle measures A degrees where the cosine of A is 5 over 13. What is the sine of 90 minus A? Okay, so there are actually two approaches we can take to this problem. So I'm going to show you both ways, okay? The first way, so this is kind of an SAT prep problem, okay? So the one, you know how I feel about memorization. I totally don't like it. <laughs> I think we should be deriving everything. I think we should be giving students enough time in their tests to allow them to derive things or just give them the formula so they're not memorizing. But um, on the SAT, you certainly don't get the formula that I'm, or not the formula, but the, um, the property or the identity I'm about to give you. Um, so this is where memorization, you know, I'm kind of like a little bit pro memorization because on the SAT it is timed, unfortunately, which you all know how I feel about that. It shouldn't be, but it is. So, um, this first way is kind of a little bit of memorization. Okay. So what I want you to do is think about when you were in pre-calc trig or whatever that class is called, whatever the class after algebra two is called, or maybe you even did it in algebra two, but most likely you didn't, you did it in um, the class after, um, remember your co-function identities. Do you remember those? So let's think about what the co-function identities were. Well, the co-function identities were, here are two of them. The sine of theta equals the cosine of 90 minus theta. And the other popular one is the cosine of theta equals the sine of 90 minus theta. Okay? This is what you're going to use. And it's literally a two second problem, this problem. Okay. So if we think about it, huh, the cosine of theta equals the sine of 90 minus theta, cosine a sine 90 minus a. So if the cosine of a is five over 13, the sine of 90 minus a is the same thing. It's just going to be five over 13. Okay. So look at how, how fast that was. Now I know even with this first way, I didn't really show much work. So let's just write it out here. So we'll call this way one, okay? So with way one, um, what we just said is we thought of our, our co-function identity, okay? This one here is the one that we are going to use. So let's rewrite it using A, because that's what we have. So what it says is that the cosine of A, okay, is gonna equal the sine of 90 minus A, okay? So, I mean, I probably should have degrees in there, you know, just to be correct. But remember, this is the SAT, so they just care about the number. The answer. Um, okay, so now I know what the cosine of A is. It's 5 over 13. I know that the cosine of A is 5 over 13. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, well, wherever I see cosine of A, wherever I see this, I can replace it with this. So I'm literally going to take, oh, this marker doesn't want to come off for me here. Oh, there we go. Um, I'm literally going to take this and wherever I see cosine of A, I'm going to replace it with 5 over 13. So I get 5 over 13, okay? I just replaced cosine of A with 5 over 13, okay? And that's going to equal the sine of 90 minus A, okay? And if we look, that's what the question was asking. What is the sine of 90 minus A? So I have right here the sine of 90 minus A is... 5 over 13. So then I could write it as the sine of 90 minus a okay, equals, uh, and then I can just write 5 over 13. I'll put it in this color here. Boom. Okay? So there's your answer. So your first way to do this problem is just using the cofunction identity that states the cosine theta um, equals sine of 90 minus theta. So the cosine of theta equals the sine of 90 minus theta. Super, super fast. Just memorize it. Just know this tends to show up a lot on the SAT. Okay? So you just may want to memorize your cofunction identities, especially the sine and the cosine one. Okay? All right. So um, let's think about way number two. Oh, okay. So let's say you get to this problem and you're like, oh my gosh, I totally remember Ms. Wilkowski was saying cofunction identities and I can't remember my identity. Is it cosine equals 90 plus theta 180? I don't know. Okay, if you're not 100% positive, I want you to do it way two, okay? And way two is a little bit more intuitive. We're kind of thinking about, you know, what's really going on this, behind the scenes. We're drawing a picture, okay? Way two will always work. It'll take a little longer, but it'll always work. So another option you can have is you could do way one, quickly mark down an answer, and then if you have time, come back to this problem and do it way two, okay? So we've got a right triangle. Boom, draw a picture, love it. Here's my right triangle. Oh, that was okay. 
not the greatest artist here, but that's okay. You don't have to be a great artist. You just have to make a, a good enough picture. Okay, so let's just say that this is A, okay? A degrees, whoops. Okay, so I know that the cosine of A is five over 13. So the cosine of A, so if you remember your Sokotoa, and I always write Sokotoa this way. Okay, I know everybody, you know, other people write it differently. I like this because it tells you exactly what it is. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay, so for cosine, adjacent over hypotenuse. So that means five is the adjacent side. Okay, now remember, the adjacent side is the side that is not the hypotenuse. You could theoretically call both of these adjacent sides, but this one's the hypotenuse. Okay, so the adjacent is the other. And then it's over hypotenuse, so 13 must be the hypotenuse. Okay, so we could write that up. A equals 5, H equals 13. Boom. Okay? Now, we want to know what's the sine of 90 minus A. Okay. So, clearly, because we're dealing with a triangle, we have to think about what angle is going to be 90 minus A. So, there's, you can kind of do it by process of elimination. Well, this is 90, this is A, so that must be 90 minus A. Or you can think about it. How can we write this angle? Remember, there's no other variables. So, how can we write this angle using only constants and my variable a. Well, you know the sum of the measures of the angles of a triangle is 180. So this angle plus this angle plus this angle must equal 180. Well, 90 of that 180 has already been taken up by the right angle. That means that a plus, let's just call this b, okay? So a plus b, okay, must equal 90 because, you know, the remaining two angles of a right triangle sum to 90, okay? They're complementary. Now, um, if we know, if we want to write what is B in terms of A, because remember, we can't use another variable, okay? We can write B in terms of A. We can say B equals, well, if we subtract A from both sides, we get B equals 90 minus A. So we don't have to write B anymore, okay? We can write 90 minus A. Okay? I probably should put my degrees there, okay? So now, if, just think about it. Anytime you have a triangle, if one angle is X or Q or Z, the other one's just going to be 90 minus that angle because, remember, they're always going to sum to 90. Okay? Boom. So now it says we want the sine of 90 minus A. Woohoo! There's my angle, 90 minus A. I just need the sine. And so I come over here and I say sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So which side is my opposite? Ooh, my opposite is 5. Which side is my hypotenuse? Oh, my hypotenuse is 13. So then that means that the sine of this angle is opposite over hypotenuse, or, so I'll write it as the sine of 90 minus A, um, is opposite over hypotenuse, 5 over 13. Okay. Boom. So there you go. So it's kind of cool because, because of this unique situation that um, the cosine of this angle will equal the sine of this angle. Okay. And so that's kind of cool. And you can think about it too if you had this, like likewise, you know, the sine of this angle equals the cosine of that angle, okay? So it's really, it's really kind of cool. And, and I think that this is always kind of like a foolproof way to do it. So if you forget your cofunction identities, that's totally okay. Just draw the triangle and see how you can relate the angle that you don't know, okay, to the other angles in the triangle, okay? And then you should be all set.